Hello, and welcome to egprint.net, your print superstore. Today we're going to take you through a demonstration on how to build your own business card using Adobe Illustrator. By selecting the Templates button here, it'll take you to our page that is filled with templates, all of which you can download for free. In the business card section, you'll see that there are four different sizes a 3.5 inch by 4 inch fold over, a 2 inch by 7 inch fold over, a 3.5 inch by 2 inch rounded corners business card, and a 3.5 inch by 2 inch square corners business card. Let's go ahead and select the standard business card. By selecting this file, you'll see that it's got all of the margin lines, the trim lines, and bleed lines. So let's go ahead and save this to our desktop. As it is right now, this is a PDF file and you can actually open this in any design program your computer may have. So let's save it to our desktop so it's easy to find. We'll open up our Illustrator and load it in. And as you can see, the margin line, which is indicated in blue, is supposed to indicate where you are to keep all of your text and logos within this blue rectangle. Anything outside of that and it could possibly get cut off. The trim line, which is in red, which is indicated here, is to indicate where your business card is going to be cut. The bleed line, which indicates where all the color can actually extend out to. If you have color that you want to go to the edge of your business card, you're going to want to make sure the color is extended as far out to this bleed line as possible. If it extends further past that bleed line, that's okay too. Just be forewarned that it's going to get cut at this red line here. The next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that our color is set properly. On a computer screen, everything is set to RGB, which stands for red, green, blue. But in the print world, everything is CMYK, which is cyan, yellow, magenta, and black. So we want to go here to the color tab and make sure that the CMYK is checked. Once we've realized that's checked, we can turn off our guidelines open up a new layer, make sure this layer is brought down to the bottom. This will help when we take a look at our guidelines to make sure everything fits correctly. We can design on this new layer, make sure everything's centered, and if everything looks good here, we just want to double check it. So turn on your guidelines and make sure everything fits within the lines indicated. Again, in the margin line, you want to make sure that all your text and important logos are within this blue rectangle. You also want to make sure that any color that you want to go to the very edge of your business card extends towards the bleed line. On this side, you'll see that it's actually got white on the edge, except for the part where there's a blue and red band. So long as those red bands are past that trim line, you'll be safe anything on this side of it, it could get cut off. If everything looks good here, we can turn off our margin lines and save this as a TIFF and upload it to the egprint.net website. Hopefully this answers all your questions as to what egprint.net can do for you with their free templates online. If you have any other interests, you can take a look at us on Facebook, Instagram, and Google+. We hope to see you again.